Video 4A, Deep Underground Concept Tunnels and Shafts. First, let's remember four basic postulates of the deep underground concept. One, construct underground structures in good geological conditions only. Two, construct underground structures that are small in size. Three, avoid using concrete and other support elements. Four, avoid using heavy machinery and a large workforce. Next, let's examine the conventional methods of tunnel and shaft construction. We have two main types of underground structures, tunnels, which are circular or semicircular structures, constructed horizontally, and shafts, which are basically vertical tunnels. Conventional tunnel construction employs an excavator at the excavation face to dig material, which is then transported to the surface. The excavation face is the working area and remains the same throughout the process. The estimate for the daily average advance of a conventionally constructed tunnel is up to 10 meters. Conventional shaft construction uses an excavator at the bottom, the shaft's excavation face. All material must be lifted to the surface. The daily average advance of a shaft is limited to about 1 meter due to safety and transportation issues. There can only be one excavation face in the case of a shaft, and usually two in the case of tunnels. For example, tunnel faces on each side of a hill. An excavation face always remains the same. There are two main limitations of conventional construction. Number one, the small shape of the excavation faces. Number two, the small number of excavation faces. Deep underground concept addresses these limitations.